What's going on guys? It's Sunday, but you know that already because you're watching this video. I am the Bearded Shark and today we're going to be doing a limited edition review on Mythical Beard's new limited edition run. This one is for this Obsidian Butterfly, but before we get started, I do want to ask you guys a question to start off this video. How do you guys feel about companies doing limited editions as far as scent wise, as far as ingredients? Do you care about the limited runs when companies do for the scent, like month, scent of the month? And do you feel like if a company is doing, like for example, this Obsidian Butterfly, the ingredient on this is different than the normal line? Do you guys think that the company should be doing the limited uh, editions only strictly for scents and not mess with the ingredients? Or do you think it's okay for companies to be doing limited ingredients as well with the limited scents? Just curious to know what you guys think and how you guys feel about that. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about this feeling beard as far as the oil and then also the scent and how it compares to its sister and brother. This one is the 50% Emu. We got this in the Foley Yeti. Um, this came out with a collaboration with Mick Foley. And then we also have the regular lineup as well that is non-Emu. And this one is going to be a little bit different. So they all have a little bit different um, feeling beard and also viscosity. So we're going to talk about all three of them today and my opinion on which one of these is the best. Now, when it does come with the limited edition, we also are going to be talking about the ingredients in here and also there's a butter that came with it. So the butter is a little bit different than the normal butter. Unfortunately, I don't have the regular butter with me. I'm not sure where I put it. I misplaced it somewhere, but I will talk to you guys about the butter of the limited edition. Um, we're going to start off with the scent profiles. Pineapple, mango, papaya, bergamot, oud, and musk. So this is like a summer punch right in the face in this one ounce bottle right here. The limited ingredients that you're going to find inside this oil is going to be emu, argon, jojoba, avocado, metafoam oil, red raspberry oil, Jamaican black castor oil, squalene oil, marula oil, pomegranate oil, seed, buttthorn seed oil. So it's Punched with, packed with a bunch of amazing ingredients in this oil. How does this compare to the regular lineups that you would find? So we'll start off with the emu mix. This is 50% emu, jojoba oil, argon oil, castor oil, avocado oil, and then of course your essential oil, essential fragrance blend. Non-emu blend is going to be jojoba oil, argon oil, castor oil, avocado oil. So you guys can see that all three of these are different blends. Uh, the one that is limited is completely different than the regular lineup. When it comes to the viscosity or the thickness of the oil, I'll show you guys all three of them. We'll start off with the limited edition. You guys can see it's got a yellow cloudy tint to it right there. Nothing too bad. As far as thickness wise, you guys can see it. It is still a thick oil. You guys can see it's not dropping anywhere. It's just literally chilling on my hands. Compared to the emu oil, you guys can see this one's got a cloudiness to it as well, but that's because of the emu. There it is right there. You guys can see it running. Now this one, uh, I would say they're about the same as far as thickness. This one is probably a little bit, tad bit more thicker. Let's compare it to the regular line. This is the non-emu and this is the original blend from Mythical Beards. You can see it's clear. It's got a tad bit yellow tint to it, but not bad. And this one would be obviously the thinnest oil out of all three. So if you want to compare between which one is the thickest, I would say the Emu blend is the thickest one and then it goes with the limited blend and then obviously the original blend with being the thinnest, but they're all pretty thick. I would pretty much rank them as the thickest one. The Emu has three C's in the thickness and then followed by two C's and then one C. So as mentioned earlier, this has pineapple, mango, papaya, bergamot, oud, and musk. This one is, again, it's like a tropical summer uh, retreat to me. I don't get much of the oud. Whenever you warm it up and you put it in beard and it kind of settles down, you get a little bit of oud, but you definitely get that pineapple mango. This is a nice summer scent. I actually have this in a little spray as well as far as like, you know, you can use it as a spray on your clothes, a spray as a cologne. I like using it as a car uh, freshener. Um, this is a nice summer scent. It isn't something that I would wear on a daily basis, but it is nice. It would be definitely great in like a air freshener kind of vibe, but um definitely gives me summer vibes it kind of gives me you definitely get that pineapple you get like a little bit of a tan lotion-ish smell out of this but 
It's nothing bad. Again, it's not something that I hate. I actually like this scent, but it's not something I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's talk about the feeling beard in all three of them. To me, I would say that the limited one is the best feeling beard out of all three that he's got, followed by the regular and then the emu. I'm not a big crazy person about emu oil, but I mean, I'd use it. It's one of those things like if it's in front of me, I'll use it. But if I don't never try it again for the rest of my life, it doesn't bother me. It's not something I got to have. Um, some of the ingredients that you see in this, as far as like uh, marula oil or the, the squalene oil, they work very, very well in my beard. Um, so I enjoy this a lot. So I'm going to definitely baby this so I don't waste it all at the whole bottle because, you know, I'm not sure if he'll bring it back or not. If you ask me, this one right here definitely needs to be the main ingredients in his oils. Um, and then followed by, you can probably do the main one instead of the emu blend or however, you know, um, to me, if you're asking me if it's worth buying the limited edition just to try the blend, yes, you know, 50 bucks, you get the oil and butter, but definitely, definitely uh, a great filling beard. Taking a look at the butter, you guys can see right here, one thing I'm obsessed with, and I'm not sure why, but I absolutely love the color of that butter. It just gives you like that nice golden yellow look to it and it's really really nice and it just feels luxurious to me this is one of those butters you guys can see right here if you look at the bottom you can see i made the mistake and i actually used too much on the bottom um this isn't one of those butters that you have to use a lot um you definitely need to start off very very less and then work your way up to see what your threshold is because this butter is nice and conditioning but if you use too much of it it definitely can leave your beard feeling greasy but when you do find the right amount of this butter right here, it really does a great job on conditioning your beard and making it feel moisturized. And it just does a great job when you wake up in the morning, you're like, ah, I got a great quality butter in my beard. So this is a really, really good butter right here. Overall, my experience, in my opinion, with Mythical Beard's new limited edition, I, I like the way he's doing it, to be honest with you. Um, as far as like, oh, limited scents, but also you have a limited like feeling beard or limited ingredient list. But also now that me trying the limited edition, I'm like, wait a minute, maybe this shouldn't be so limited. This should be like the main ingredient list or the main oil blend that you have versus the other two that you got. Because I can use this limited blend and just not use the rest and be okay with it. Like a top five feeling beard product. But that's all I got for you guys today. I wanted to come on here and tell you guys my experience, what I think about the new limited edition from Mythical Beards. Um, I'm not sure how he stumbled upon this ingredient list or how long it took him to make this, but definitely, definitely a great blend. And I would highly encourage you guys just to get the limited edition, just to try this. I know that the Obsidian Butterfly, there's, I think, there's uh, he made only 40 bundles of it so you do have to buy it as a bundle as far as oil and butter i'm not sure how many is left but i do know that once they're gone they're gone for the feeling beard on both the oil and butter yes i would pay 50 bucks to get this um, but then i'm sure there's also discount codes floating around that you can use to make it lower i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your sunday and of course as always stay bearded duh